Hi, Christy at The Ready Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a recipe from our recipe book, 9 by 13, A Plan for Your Pan. The 9 by 13 pan has become today's go-to pan. It can go in the oven, it can go in the refrigerator, it can go in the freezer, it can go in the picnic basket. You can make everything from one dish family meals to bars that serve a crowd. And this cookbook has 120 one-size-fits-all recipes for your 9 by 13 pan. Today I'm going to be using Rada's Rectangular Baker. It's 9 by 13. Uh, this can go from the oven to the refrigerator to the freezer also. And it doesn't require any pre-seasoning. Today I'm going to make pork chops and stuffing. The ingredients you'll need include 6 cups of herb seasoned stuffing mix a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a 10 and 3 quarter ounce can of cream of celery soup, a 14 and a half ounce can of chicken broth, salt and pepper to taste, two apples, you want to use a tart apple, I'm going to use the Granny Smith, an onion, two stalks of celery, and six boneless pork loin chops that have been cut to three quarters of an inch thick. The first thing you'll need to do is chop your celery and onions and apples with the French chef knife. It's easy. And I like to use the leafy part in a because these are going to get sauteed in a pan. And I like to use the cutting board. They're so inexpensive, you can have several on hand. I'm also going to use the front chef knife to chop up the onion. If you cut the end off, it kind of pull, pulls the peeling away from the onion. And then we need to peel and chop the apples. And I'm going to use the Rada vegetable peeler. This vegetable peeler can be used by left and right handed users. It is really the world's best vegetable peeler. You can also use it to make chocolate curls, peel carrots. I've even made butter curls with it. And with our popular Super Pear has a large, easy to grip handle. It's easy to maneuver to get out that core. This cutting board flexes too, so you can easily put it on in a pan or on a plate. So next, you'll want to heat your oven to 375 degrees. And if you're not using a rectangular baker from Rada, you'll need to pre-season your uh, 9 by 13 pan with some cooking spray. And we're going to season our pork chops with salt and pepper. So in a large saucepan on medium high heat, heat your one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then we're going to brown the pork chops. You only have to turn them once. So 
So once your pork chops are browned, you'll remove them from the skillet onto a plate. And now we're gonna add our onion and celery to this pan. Now you're gonna add the onions and celery to the skillet. And cook that for about three minutes or until your onions get tender. As you can see, it's nice and brown. Onions are nice and tender. And now I'll add the apples. And you'll stir and cook this for about one minute. Now to this, we're going to add our chicken broth and cream of celery soup. Once you have this well mixed, you'll bring it to a simmer. And then remove it from the heat. And then you'll add the six cups of the herb season stuffing. So once you have this stuffing mixed with your apples and onion and celery, you'll put it in the bottom of your prepared 9 by 13 inch pan. And then you'll place your pork chops on top of that. Now cover this with aluminum foil, put it in the 375 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes and it's ready to serve. Pork chops and stuffing, one of the 121 size fits all recipes in the 9x13, a plan for your pan cookbook.